Welcome to our lesson on finding the highest common factor on lowest common multiple of two or more integers. So we need to break 36 and 42 down into their prime factors. So we have 36 and the lowest prime number that goes into 36 is 2 and 2 goes into it 18 times and 2 goes into 18 9 times and 3 goes into 9 3 times and then finally 3 goes into 3 once. So 36 as its prime factors are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and another 3. And for 42, well 2 goes into 42 21 times, 3 goes into 21 7 times and 7 is also prime which goes into it one time. So to use these prime factors to work out the highest common factor we're going to arrange them in this Venn diagram where here we have 36 and in this circle we have 42 and you can see that these twos are common so they go when they overlap and these threes are also common so these also overlap and now in 36 you have another two and another three so they go here and in the 42 we have a seven so the highest common factor is found by the numbers when they overlap, which is 2 times 3. So the highest common factor is 6. And the lowest common multiple is all the numbers multiplied together. So we have 2 times 3 times this 2 and this 3, which is 6, the highest common factor, times the 7. So 2 times 3 times 6 times 7 is the lowest common multiple which is 252. So this means 252 is the first number that will appear in both of our times tables. Okay, let's move on to question B. So again, we'll start by working out the prime factors of 56. Well, 2 goes into 56 28 times. 2 goes into 28 14 times. 2 goes into 14 7 times and 7 goes into 7 once and for 24 2 goes into 24 12 times 2 goes into 12 go 6 times and then we have 3 and 3 into 3 go once so here we'll have 56 and here we'll have 24 you can see this 2 is common with this 2 again another common 2 and again so then we have the 7 in the 56 and a 3 in the 24 so the highest common factor again is where the two circles overlap which is 2 times 2 times 2 so the highest common factor is 8 and the lowest common multiple is the 7 times the 8 times the 3 which is 168 okay do you want to try and work out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 45 and 60 you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready okay so I've broken 45 and 60 down into their prime factors we'll have 45 here and 60 in this set and you can see we have this 3 is common with this 3 so they go when they overlap and this 5 is common with this 5 and we have this 3 which is left in the 45 and we have 2 times 2 which is common in the 60 so the highest common factor is 3 times 5 which is 15 and the lowest common multiple is 3 times 15 times the 4 which is 180 okay let's try some more questions so do you want to try and work out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 28 and 56 and then 18 and 63 you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready 
So here's the completed Venn diagram. So you can see the highest common factor on these numbers here, which are 2 times 2 times 7, which is 28. And the lowest common multiple is 28 times 7, which is 196. So the question F, you can see the highest common factor is for 3, and the lowest common multiple of a product of all of these numbers, which is 252. Okay, in question G, we have a value of A is 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5 squared, and B is 2 to the power of 3 times 5. Do you want to try and find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of A and B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so I've broken down A and B into my individual prime factors. And where we have 2 squared, you can see we have two twos. And 5 squared, we have two fives. And 2 to a 3 is here, with this 5 here. So we can arrange them in our Venn diagram, where we have A, we have these two twos which are common, and again, and these two fives which are common, and we're left with a 3 and a 5 in A, and in B, we're left with this 2. So the highest common factor is 2 times 2 times 5, which is 20, and the lowest common multiple, which is the product of all of them which is 600. So the highest common factor is 20 and the lowest common multiple is 600. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.